we tend to not want to talk about our differences especially when it got to do with race or religion because it's seen as very sensitive right we fear being exposed for our ignorance and then we also fear offending the other person when we don't talk about it the kind of negative stereotypes that we have of each other will never get clarified will never get corrected then this is where racism will remain and become a bigger problem waiting to explode in the future In recent months, the internet has been abuzz with discussions on racism in Singapore, with many younger people taking the lead to start uncomfortable conversations surrounding privilege and casual racism. It's evident that Singaporeans want to start talking about it. But what more can we do to help this conversation progress? So I decided to speak to Imran, an interfaith advocate who engages with issues and diversity, to find out how we can talk more productively about race. One of the problems of racism is due to the prevalence of stereotypes. you view a particular race with fixed traits and characteristics and then these fixed traits and characteristics uh, are used to explain social problems or social phenomena for example education achievements or under achievements are organized along racial lines so you will see the statistics and the charts showing malay pupils chinese pupils indian pupils and how they fare in national exams or even in uh, particular subjects so that gives an impression that the success or the failures in this educational aspects has got to do with the races and not because of other factors like this boy does not have enough family support is from a broken family does not have access to tuition it's a very complex issue and you cannot just reduce it to uh, the fact that they belong to a particular race now how they manifest in society can be in many ways Casual acts of racism normally occurs uh, on the interpersonal level. For example, if a person say for an Indian girl, she's pretty. For a Malay boy, he's quite smart. These are verbal cues that shows the kind of stereotypes that exist in the person's mind. Now, when you find it so prevalent and it informs hiring practices, it even enters into some policies, then it becomes systemic racism. I think we need to continuously discuss this so that eventually we will come to a situation where we understand really why it's a problem, how how we can handle it. So how can we start by having more constructive discussions about race with our family and friends? I would say that the best way forward is to start by sharing stories. Don't go straight into the topic and use big terms like, "Oh, you know, let me talk to you about what microaggressions is." There's this thing called intersectionality. Bring a person from another race to your home. you know invite them to an outing have a meal together celebrate the festivals together allow the person from the other race to share their life reality engage in this kind of dialoguing that makes both side understand the perspectives better and and move forward together even when someone make an insult towards you take a step back don't immediately be reactionary try to understand why the person is making that remark and then you approach it in a different way but of course within the majority is important to listen to the instances where they felt that they've been the target of racism and not just listen but listen with empathy i don't believe in a society where you are totally color blind you don't even recognize the differences what is important is to acknowledge that despite our differences we are equal at the end of the day racism is not about pitting one race against another regardless of whether you're chinese indian malay anyone who disagree with racism and see the problem of racism and wants to do something about it they ought to come together in solidarity 